what it is. We cannot conceptualize it with our human awareness. We cannot order it. We cannot manipulate it. We cannot organize it. It is what it is, has been and will be. And what is the truth? Truth is that we are surrounded or we are penetrated or we are nourished, looked after and loved by a very subtle energy which is the energy of Divine Love. The second truth is that we are not this body, this mind, these conditionings, this ego, but we are the Spirit. You don't have to accept what I'm saying blindly, because blind faith leads to fanaticism. But as scientists you must keep your mind open and see for yourself what I'm saying if it is so, honestly you must accept it. <clears throat> we know so much through science about our civilization, our advancement. This is the advancement of a tree which has grown outside very much. But if we do not know our roots, we will be destroyed. So it is important to know about our roots. And this is what it is that I would say are our roots. As you can see, there are seven centers within us. And these subtle centers are placed in the spinal cord and in the brain. These cater to our physical, mental, emotional and spiritual needs. On the physical side, they manifest the energy for the use of our plexuses which look after our physical problems. That is on the right side, the energy which is supplied by this yellow line, a subtle channel, we call it as the Pingala Nadi. This supplies energy for our physical and mental actions. So this is the power of action within us which also caters to the right sympathetic nervous system. The another channel you see on the left hand side is the channel by which we desire, put our energy to our desire. So this is the power of desire and looks after our emotions. This is the one which looks after our conditionings also. At the end of these two channels they create two institutions 
one on the right side crosses over and the yellow balloon that you see is the ego, is the balloon of ego that we have. And the left-hand side one, the, which conditions our mind, is the balloon of superego. As we start growing in age, by the time we are twelve years of age, these two completely meet and the soft bone in our head becomes completely calcified. Now there's third energy within us, which is in the center. And this center, central energy is the one which has made us human beings. And these centers are the milestones of our evolution. So now the last jumping is left out. It has reached up to the limbic area. Now only thing is it has to break through the soft bone in the on the head and break through that, which is the actualization of baptism. Baptism is not an artificial thing. It is an actualization. But the energy that does it is, we call it sleeping energy, in the triangular bone called as sacrum. That means the Greeks knew that this is a sacred bone, that they called it sacred. This energy has to rise and break through that fontanelle bone area and connect us to that subtle divine power which we have never felt during human awareness.